Hi guys, welcome to the review of the card sleeve by Balroy. As you can see, the card sleeve is packaged in a cardboard sleeve, typical for the Balroy products. It has the stitching on the side, the logo on top, and the barcode which you can take off if you want to give it as a present. To open the packaging, you take it on the other side and you open the flap on the back. As you can see, the card sleeve is protected by paper wrapping, so the card sleeve doesn't get damaged when you take it out of the packaging. And this is the card sleeve by Bellroy. As you can see, it has a very contemporary look, thanks to the contrasting stitching on the side and the bottom, but also the oblique card slots, which gave, give the, the card sleeve a very modern look to it. The leather used by Bellroy is a premium top grain leather. It has a very soft feeling to it. It's also environmentally certified, so there normally are no um, ecological impact when it's produced. So it's very soft, but at the same time it gives me kind of a plastic-like feeling to it. So the premium feeling I don't really get from this leather of Bellroy. On the other hand, the finishing is really impeccable. Uh, I don't see any loose threads on this product and also I don't see any production flaws whatsoever. And then for the storage capacity. As you can see there are three card slots. One on the front, one on the back and one main compartment with a pull tab. So in the front compartment you can store one to two cards show you now. So one card goes in there and two cards. As you can see it's, it are easy access card slots so you can easily take them out and easily put them back in. On the back there's another card slot also an easy access card slot but with a wider opening as you can see the lining is coming through the opening. This slot can take up to three cards, so as you can see, three cards, I will test it as well, one, two, and three. As you can see, it can take the three cards, but the edges get quite bulky. So I would say not more than three cards on the back side of it. The back slot can also be used to store your paper bills in there, or receipts, or any kind of paper-like objects you want to store in your card holder. It sticks out a bit, so if you don't like that, then maybe don't put money in here. I wouldn't recommend, I wouldn't recommend to put money in the main compartment, because with the system of the pull tab, the objects in here need a certain type of sturdiness, like cards for example. So the main compartment can store up to 8 cards. I will take 8 cards. Voila. And I will slide them in. As you can see when you slide the cards in, the pull tab also goes back into its original position. So now you see this is a fully, fully stacked card sleeve by Balroy. It doesn't get bulky, it's still quite nice looking so very pleased with it. When you want to extract the cards from your card sleeve you pull show it like this you pull the cards the pull tab and you extract them from the card sleeve. As you can see the pull tab keeps on hanging like this which is not really pretty but when you take the card out you need you can put the back the others back in and that is back in its original position. So this wallet is not really feature heavy. Um, it has the two card slots which are really easy in usability. Those are really quick access card slots. It's not just a marketing term they use. It's really easy. They are really easy to use. Um, and the other thing of a feature is the pull tab extract the cards from the main compartments. 
So my final verdict for this card sleeve by Bellroy is that it is a very appealing product. It's a very nice product. It has a high level of finish to it, but it's also rather expensive. With $55 as a price, there are other products that are quite similar, but that are less expensive. So I would say it's not really a must-have product, but it's rather a nice to have. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to comment, do it in the comment boxes below. Thank you. Bye. See you next time.